you already know it's kaylin rose and you gonna get this word today so today's verse of the day is coming from james chapter 2 verses 14. what good is it my brothers and sisters if someone claims to have faith but has no deeds can such faith save them suppose a brother or sister is without clothes and daily food if one of you says to them go in peace keep warm and well fed but does nothing about their physical needs what good is it in the same way faith by itself if not accompanied by action is dead start by praying today so heavenly father thank you for this amazing and blessed day i pray that this impresses on the hearts of your children all your loved ones i pray that this changes someone's perspective and mindsets when it comes to faith. I pray they are blessed when they come and go. And I pray that their hearts are unhardened by any deeds that they do. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. So God is saying faith without works is dead. What does that mean? That means if your friend is hungry, they don't have any money to cover their bill, expenses and you don't offer to buy their food even if you only got uh ten dollars in your account you better make sure you stretch that because like god did with the um he was able to feed the five thousand with two loaves of bread and fish yeah, don't don't misquote me or whatever but y'all know what he did god is saying for us to do that as well in all our deeds that you do one thing god can multiply you post one video for god and he could send it to multiple people that he wants to impress upon their hearts the message he has you give clothes to the homeless the people at the donation center could stretch that out to a family you don't know who you're clothing faith without works is dead if you don't have the faith to do something for somebody you don't know how you can see god's glory Faith often requires some type of sacrifice. It's just like when God told Noah to build the ark without any rain in sight. Do you know that requires faith? Meanwhile, everybody else is looking at him crazy. The friends, the family is calling him crazy. Like, what are you building a big boat and ark for when there's no water in sight on this earth? But this is what God uses to represent that obedience and faith and action goes hand in hand. Noah had to um, make the ark and, and obey his words, regardless of the naysayers, regardless of the families, regardless of what anybody else said, he stuck to God's instructions and that required faith. And by his works, he was able to save his whole family and all the animals of the land. So God is saying, what is faith without works is dead. Don't expect God to bless you if you're not putting in the work. Need the deeds to have faith and to back up your faith so in verse 18 god is saying but someone will say you have faith i have deeds show me your faith without deeds and i will show you my faith by my deeds you believe that there is no there is one god good even the demons believe that and shudder <laughs> you foolish person do you want evidence that faith without deeds is useless was not our father Abraham considered righteous for for what he did when he offered his son of Isaac at the alt, on the altar? You see, his faith and his actions were working together. His faith was made complete by what he did. And the scripture was fulfilled that says, Abraham believed God and it was credited, credited to him as righteousness. And he was, God, he was called God's friend. You see, what a person is considered righteous by what they do not by faith alone whatever you sacrifice in the name of god that is what faith is show me your deeds and god says this is what a righteous person can say what their faith stands by you only got five dollars to your name but you make sure your family gets that one dollar everybody get one dollar meal from wherever you can afford that is faith by works and multiplying whatever God places in your hand to show that regardless, it doesn't matter what you have, by faith, you know everyone is going to eat, everyone's going to drink, everyone's going to be satisfied and good. So I love you guys and I hope you guys have a blessed day.